Keep Louisiana Beautiful is a statewide organization with 39 affiliates throughout the state and our focus is to clean up Louisiana by programs, litter, recycling and education as well as beautification and community strengthening. What are we doing here today? Today is Leaders Against Litter, so it's our signature event and in communities throughout the state we are engaging leaders, that's business leaders, community, civic leaders, as well as elected officials to join us. It's something we cannot do alone. So if we are ever going to make great strides in cleaning up Louisiana and making it litter free, we need everyone working together. That's leaders as well as everyday citizens. How serious a problem is litter in Louisiana? Litter in Louisiana is huge. So it affects our tourism as well as our economy. It brings down property values. It attracts criminal elements. It deters business growth and our ability to attract new businesses. It has impacts on our environment as well as public safety and health issues. But it's also very costly. So each year the state of Louisiana spends over $40 million in litter prevention and pickup activities. When the press conference is over, what would you like people to keep in mind? I want people to know that it really comes down to personal responsibility. Once each person takes the role that I am not going to litter, so I won't throw it down, and then if I see it, I will pick it up. So when we all work together and take that personal responsibility, behavior changes occur, attitudinal as well as cultural change will happen. We are so passionate about litter at Wildlife and Fisheries. We are all over the state in the rural parts and in the urban areas, and people deserve to have a clean state. This is the sportsman's paradise, and it makes such a difference to visitors that come to Louisiana. So we're very aggressive. We've issued hundreds of citations every year, unfortunately, but we've all got to redouble our efforts to make this the clean state we want it to be. We are engaging some of our noted leaders, leaders of various organizations, the Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden, who's been extremely helpful to us, uh, and get them to commit to cleaning up Louisiana and in turn uh, have that trickle down to, to everyone. And in my view, uh, everyone can be a leader against litter, whether you're a parent who can teach his child, whether you are a sibling who can teach a younger sibling, a teacher, coaches, sportsmen, everyone can, can clean Louisiana and set a good example. What are some ways that people can get involved? Well, uh, there are plenty of ways. You can first of all go to our website at Keep Louisiana Beautiful and uh, you can volunteer. There are ways to make uh, contributions which are always helpful. And uh, get involved with your local affiliates. How big of a problem is litter for the state? The state is, the state's problem is, is tremendous. Uh, I got involved simply from driving uh, through the state, going to take care of my granddaughter, and just becoming almost physically ill from looking at all the litter. And so uh, when it's, they have estimated it takes about $40 million a year to uh, clean up Louisiana from the litter, and, and certainly that money could be better used elsewhere as we all know. Well this is an initiative called Leaders Against Litter and if uh, people who are in the public spotlight and kind of have a bully pulpit will go out and pick up trash and talk about the importance of keeping Louisiana clean, hopefully it'll, it'll um, be contagious and help the rest of the people in Louisiana pitch in because you know we're a beautiful state, we pride ourselves on being the sportsman's paradise and, and litter makes us ugly and it impacts economic development, it impacts tourism. Uh, so this is just a way to call more attention to the fact that we've got an issue here and it's, it's uh, something we've all got to address, we've all got to help with. Has uh, progress been made over the last years or so? You know, I think it has. You know, there's always you pick up one day and then stuff is back the next day. It's an ongoing process. It's an educational process to make people cognizant of it. I say all the time, just don't throw your styrofoam ba uh, bags and cups in the back of your pickup truck. A lot of the problem on interstates is stuff flying out of the back of pickup trucks. And people just think, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it in the cab and I'm going to throw it away somewhere. When the co press conference is over, what would you like people to keep in mind? Well, hopefully they'll, they'll, it'll raise their awareness and consciousness about keeping Louisiana clean, about picking up around their house, around their offices, or on the street when they're out walking, jogging, whatever the case may be. There are a lot of trash cans around. Let's, let's keep Louisiana clean. T tell us the importance of, of, of your department's involvement. The Louisiana Department of Transportation is responsible for the maintenance of our roadways and bridges. Part of that responsibility is litter pickup. We spend about $5.8 million a year 
picking up litter throughout the state. There are better uses for that money than picking up litter, so we urge everyone, please don't litter. In communities all across the state of Louisiana this morning, leaders from every walk of life, business leaders, civic leaders, community leaders, and elected officials join Keep Louisiana Beautiful and our affiliates to say enough is enough. It is time that we take our state back from those who have been neglectful and return it to the beautiful state that we all love. In those communities that didn't get rained out, our leaders started out this morning with a pickup. Having a litter pickup is so important because it brings awareness to how huge the litter problem is in our state. Leaders were also asked to speak up and to make their voice heard that litter is not acceptable and we want a litter-free Louisiana. They were also asked to stand up, to use their leadership position to bring together people and ideas to solve this problem. And it is a big problem. Litter is not just ugly. Litter affects tourism and it affects our economy. It reduces property values, it attracts criminal elements, and it deters business growth and our ability to attract new business. It has huge effects on our environment, as well as public safety and health issues. And litter is costly. Each year, the state of Louisiana spends more than $40 million in litter prevention and abatement programs. I think you will all agree that is money that we can better spend somewhere else. But there is good news. And the good news is that litter is preventable. But it will take us all working together. Leaders, elected officials, side by side with citizens from every walk of life to say that this is not acceptable and that we are all gonna take personal responsibility. And when we all take personal responsibility, it will bring about behavioral, attitudinal, and cultural change that is needed to clean up our state. We are pleased today to have the support from so many state agencies, from Lieutenant Governor, Volunteer Louisiana, DEQ, Department of Transportation, Wildlife and Fisheries, the State Police, as well as Corrections and Public Safety. Your support means the world to us, and we thank you for your service to our state. So now, I would like to introduce to you Secretary Robert Burm uh, from Wildlife and Fisheries. Thank you very much, Susan. It's great to be with you today. We are passionate about ending the terrible plague that is litter in Louisiana. This is the sportsman's paradise. The people of Louisiana deserve a state that is beautiful and clean. And it seems that every reality show about the outdoors refers to Louisiana. The people who want to come here and the people who visit our state, they deserve to see the Louisiana that they expect to see and that we want them to see. We are issuing hundreds of citations every year. Our agents are everywhere, from the cities to the most rural parts of Louisiana. And unfortunately, we are having to issue hundreds of citations. I want that to end. I want our state to be clean so that we're about other things other than fighting litter. But I'm de delighted to be with the other officials to pledge our support to do whatever it takes to make this the state we want it to be. Thanks. And now I'd like to introduce Secretary from DQ, Peggy Hatcher. Thank you, Susan. It's a great opportunity to be here today with our partners uh, across the state to address litter. Within DEQ, we have a criminal investigation division with seven criminal investigators with full arrest powers, and they use it every day to address a number of uh, environmental crimes across the state. 
Since January of 2011, we have been responsible for getting 122 illegal dump sites cleaned up through our, the work of our criminal investigators. In addition, since the same time period in 2011, we have also investigated almost 300 complaints on uh, solid waste, waste tires, and hazardous waste. We stand together with Keep Louisiana Beautiful and our other partners across the state agencies to make Louisiana a better place for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren. Thank you very much. And now I will introduce Secretary from Department of Transportation and Development, Sherry Labasse. Thank you. Good afternoon. We support Keep Louisiana Beautiful and we commend the organization's mission to keep Louisiana clean and litter free. As Susan stated, litter is not only ugly, it is environmentally, economically, and socially destructive. One of DOTD's main responsibility is to improve and maintain Louisiana's infrastructure inclusive of state and federal highways and bridges interstate system throughout Louisiana. In addition to the maintenance of our highways and bridges, our efforts also include litter pickup. And it's a vital role to DOTD's mission on a daily basis. We strive to keep Louisiana's roadways beautiful and litter free for our residents. And also the many visitors who drive throughout our beautiful state to explore our unique culture and landscape. This is a real key factor here. Last fiscal year, we at DOTD spent approximately $5.8 million just picking up litter on our state highways. This is enough litter to fill the Tiger Stadium all the way to about 15 feet in the stadium. That's a lot of litter. And just think what we could do to improve our roadways and bridges if we didn't have to pick up that litter. If people didn't litter, we could put that money to much better use. And I'm sure you would prefer that. I know I, I would. So litter pickup efforts throughout DOTD are conducted in several different ways. We have a project cleanup through contracted services. Uh, we partner with the correctional department. We have an adopt a road program. We have our own internal maintenance crews, our interstate mowing contracts. They work to pick up litter. And we also join forces with other entities throughout uh, the city and through city and sheriff's agreements. And we are especially proud of the, our Adopt a Road program through which we enlist volunteers to remove litter and debris from our state and federal roadsides. And while saving taxpayer dollars, the program provides recognition for participating groups and organization, promotes civic responsibility and pride throughout Louisiana. So we are proud to stand and be a part of Leaders Against Litter. We hope that people uh, find a trash receptacle and don't litter our highways. So keep Louisiana beautiful. Thank you. And now we'll hear from Secretary of Corrections and Public Safety, James LeBlanc. Thank you, Susan. It's good to be here today and, and welcome everybody this afternoon. You know, one thing that I have to, I guess, reflect on a little bit is, is in 1996, I have, a, I have a picture in my office with me and, and Alice Foster and, and a few of my uh, upper echelon when we were uh, working the litter, when this, this Keep Louisiana Beautiful first got started. And, and uh, you know, I'm very passionate about it. And, and I, I'm, I've been a part of Keep Louisiana Beautiful for a long time. I have staff that's on the advisory council. And I can't say how much I appreciate, Susan, what you guys do and how much it's grown when I, when I read the background and everything. I've kind of been away from it for a while, but it's grown and, and the affiliates that are involved, I, I see it, everybody's getting on board and that, that's so important for, for, for a project like this. Uh, you know, the, the other thing that I'll mention and, and Sherry hit on it is that we do have crews working out there every day that, that work out of our nine 
state facilities that are cleaning up our highways. And we're picking up, unfortunately, we're picking up almost 12,000 garbage bags of litter every month. 12,000 bags a month of litter. And, you know, I, I, I kind of tracked that back, and, and it has improved some, but it hasn't improved a whole lot. And, 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 and it's the same highways. We are dedicated to certain state highways. And so, you know, that, that part of it, we really have to continue to fight this war on litter. I, I, I just can't say enough about that. I, you know, and the other thing I guess I would mention is, is the fact that, you know, law enforcement, I'm glad to hear Secretary Barnum and, and Peggy talk about the enforcement side of this because that is, that is a key role here. I, I kind of look at it as war on drugs, you know, just a war on litter. And, you know, the preventative side of this is so important. It can't just be the reactionary side. We have got to prevent it. If they're not throwing it out, we don't have to pick it up. And we save the money that everybody just talked about. So, again, that's, that's so important. So, I'll leave you with a couple of things. One is law enforcement, I think, has to play a role in this and does play a role. We have to do better. I can reflect. I drive Highway 61 every day. I live a little south of San Francisville. I drive it every day. I go by the North Baton Rouge landfill, and I see it every day. And I see that we pick that highway up, and I see the bags that accumulate out there around the landfill. So our commercial haulers, our, our haulers to the dump, they have to be involved, and I know they are. And what I think we have to do a little better with that. And one thing I had made a little note on that I'll leave you with that I kind of tied into to what the, the, what's the kind of the, the gist of this. One is lead by example and pick up, pick up, litter as you see it. Show that a beautiful, litter-free Louisiana matters to you by standing up, standing up at events like these to show your support and educate others by speaking up, speaking up about the importance of personal and business responsibility when it comes to litter. So again, I, I thank everybody for being here. It's, a, it's an honor to be here and I look forward to working with Keep Louisiana Beautiful. I would mention that special project was a big thing back when. We're still doing some. That was the picture that I had with Alice Foster. We were in Bro Bridge, uh, I'm sorry, Pearport, doing a special project. So to the affiliates and KLB, if we can do anything to help in areas where there's, there's tires, there's things that you really can't normally pick up, we're willing to do that and help with, with that process. So again, I appreciate being here and thank you very much. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Judd Johnson. He's the executive director for Volunteer Louisiana. Volunteer Louisiana has provided logistical support for this event, as well as some funding, and has helped us in our efforts to recruit volunteers. Judd? <clears throat> Thank you, Susan. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're thrilled to be a part of this initiative, and as you can see from the speakers today, litter is an issue that cuts across all sectors of this state. Um, it's not just an enforcement issue, it's not just a beautification issue, uh, it touches us all of us, including the volunteer sector. Volunteer Louisiana is proud of the role we play in supporting quality programs across the state that help improve the quality of life for the people in Louisiana. And that's what Keep Louisiana Beautiful does. Uh, we are pleased, as Susan said, to have played a role in providing financial support to affiliates across the state for this initiative, but really it is about facilitating and empowering local communities. It can't be a state effort, it can't just be the leaders, it has to be ownership taken by these individual communities uh, and that pride that comes from a clean and beautiful city. Today the leaders kicked it off, and I want to thank everybody who was a leader out there volunteering. The weather was not pretty today. Uh, we were out in Baton Rouge in a deluge, uh, but it showed the commitment that people had to keeping their community beautiful. That commitment is not a function of the size of your community, I do want to say. doesn't matter how big your city is, it's how big that passion is and how big the pride is that you have for your community. Today, Eunice, Louisiana had 80 community volunteers out uh, today on a kickoff event. What's going to come the next couple of weeks is the, is the Great American Cleanup, but on this kickoff event, a small community like Eunice, Louisiana had 80 community volunteers who said, this matters to me. Uh, that's what we want to see. That replicated across the state, and we're glad to be a part of that, uh, and I want to encourage everybody to continue to keep Louisiana beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Judd. Before I introduce the Lieutenant Governor, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge some of the affiliates who took the time to drive up to show their support. I know we have some folks from St. James Parish, as well as from Natchitoches, and I believe maybe Slidell. 
So thank you for all that you do. We appreciate your hard work. Thank you for being with us. So now I'd like to introduce to you Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden. Jay has been a friend and supporter of Keep Louisiana Beautiful for many, many years. And his leadership and his voice makes a huge difference to what we do. And we sincerely thank him for those efforts. Jay? Thank you, Susan. Uh, uh, Keep Louisiana Beautiful has three E's, education, enforcement, and enthusiasm. And it takes the enthusiasm of volunteers all across the state to actually do the uh, perhaps not so heavy lifting, but important lifting of trash on the roadsides and on the waterways of Louisiana. Uh, when you're expecting company at home, it's let's clean up, company's coming. We've got company coming every day in Louisiana. Uh, more than 27 million visitors a year come to this state to enjoy everything that we sometimes take for granted as Louisianians. We don't want to show them a filthy Louisiana. They come for the beauty, as Secretary Barham said, they come for the outdoors that they've seen on television, and we don't want it to be smirched by litter. So it's very important what's taking place all across the state and year long, but particularly in this focused effort. This gives us a chance to, to really put an emphasis, another E, on, on these three components of litter. And I want to thank the secretaries who took time to come here today. They all have active involvement in keeping Louisiana beautiful. As you heard, they spend a lot of money. They use a lot of man hours uh, to constantly clean up. And it's really incumbent upon all of us as taxpayers to be responsible for our home, which is Louisiana. And so many people across the state did that today. I was in Lake Charles this morning, so I participated in Lake Charles where it was foggy and, and uh, overcast, but not raining. So those of you who are in the rain this morning, I'm sorry you had to endure it, but obviously you did. Uh, it, it takes an effort from leaders in all walks of life. We have elected officials, we have appointed officials here today, we have business leaders as part of this mission. And we have citizens who are leaders in their own right if they tell their families and their children that it's important not to litter, it's important to pick up after themselves. I constantly remind people, particularly we're a pickup loving state in Louisiana. And I don't mean just picking up the trash, I mean pick up trucks. And it's so easy for people to toss those styrofoam cups and bags in the back of the pickup truck. They go 60 miles, troopers 70 miles, sometimes 80 miles down the interstate, uh, and that goes flying out of the back and that's inadvertent litter. I don't think people, the majority of people consciously litter, but the inadvertent litter out of trucks, the not thinking about it and dropping the cigarette butt on the ground, not talking to your kids about the importance of picking up after themselves both inside and outside their house, all are factors in trying to help us address this problem. So I want to thank everybody who's involved today. Uh, Keep Louisiana Beautiful. Susan and your board has been a, a tremendous uh, motivation for people to get involved and as you heard, folks all over the state are, are doing that today. So I want to give you the results. They're not as impressive as they were in the past because literally the state was pretty much blanketed in rainfall or expected rainfall most of the day. So the numbers are down a little bit, but at least 10 members of the House of Representatives or the State Senate were out there today in their respective communities picking up trash, as were almost uh, 15 mayors or parish presidents across the state. So to all of them, I thank them. I have the list of those of you in the press who may want to see it and thank them for participating. It was very meaningful. Uh, so here are the results. There were 1,800, there were 1,823 cigarette butt, butts picked up. I claim one of those in Lake Charles today. I got one. There are 220 bags of litter picked up, 800 volunteer hours, 625 leaders who signed the pledge, and where is the pledge board? Right here, they signed the pledge to say they're gonna help do this job, not just now, but year round. So thanks to all the people across the state who made this a success. Uh, Mother Nature did not cooperate today, but that's all right. We started this initiative. It's gonna continue through the spring, and I, I thank everybody who's been involved, and I encourage every Louisiana citizen to be a leader against litter and help us in this initiative. Thanks very much. Thank you, Jay. So like Jay mentioned, today it doesn't start and end with this press conference. It's just the beginning. So we are launching our Great American Cleanup. And throughout the state during the months of March, April, and May, we'll have about 30 cleanups being conducted by affiliates throughout the state. So we are making the public plea to, for volunteers, people from every walk of life, to join the leaders of our state and do their part and connect with a local affiliate, volunteer, 
come out and offer your time to participate in the cleanups and all the multiple beautification programs. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? They can contact us on our website, www.keeplouisianabeautiful.org, or they can call me at 985-502-9024.